everyone how are you guys i am back for a highly requested video a lot of you have asked me for this video and although my apartment is not complete i didn't want to keep you hanging much longer so i want to show you guys what i do have going on and some ideas that i want to incorporate that have not happened yet so as you can tell by the title today is an apartment tour sorry if this is kind of wobbly i'm literally like holding my camera vlog style right now for this intro but i want to keep this intro short because i know all of you want to get into the apartment tour i'm just going to give you guys an overview of everything and i'm going to point out um, where i got certain things just in case you guys are wondering i'm not going to go through every single cabinet every single closet just yet just because you know it's a work in progress so i hope you guys enjoy this video i know this was highly requested i'm gonna quit blabbing because i know you guys hate it when i have long intros and let's get on to this apartment tour and we're going to start right here at the front door this is where you come in this is where i lock up <laughs> and um right to the right when you walk in is a closet and then my bathroom so let's do an overview of this first this is my closet right here i have my umbrella hanging because sometimes i need to quickly grab that and go and i always tend to lose my umbrella so i hang it right there then i have this over the door hanger i think this might be from like marshall's or tj maxx one of those stores. I get a lot of my home stuff from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods, just in case you guys are wondering. I have some of my purses that I wear the most here. Um, not going to go through all of them, but and then I sometimes hang my hats here as well. And then opening the door. Oh, I know this looks crazy, you guys, but honestly, it's organized. This is all of my work stuff, and then this is empties for an empties video but you guys I don't, if you guys don't know i work for paracone paracone md amazing skincare line so i'm an account executive for paracone and this is how my closet is organized and stored because yeah we get a lot of stuff at one time so it needs to be organized i have my brush belts right over here and then just products and brochures and samples and all of that okay so that is the closet there and then if you guys are wondering, I do have carpet. This is not my first choice. If I had a choice, I would love hardwood floors, but with my budget living in the city of Philadelphia, it's just, it is what it is, and this is what I could afford. So, moving on, we are here at the bathroom. So we're gonna walk right into the bathroom. It's a pretty spacious bathroom, as you can tell. I do have washer and dryer in my unit, which I love. There's two switches here, so this is the first one, obviously. The second one I didn't turn on because it's the fan as well, but... So there's an extra light at the top over there that turns on, and then the fan turns on, so. I will keep that off for now. When you come on in, you go straight, you actually see the shower and, oh, good Lord. Let's make this kind of pretty. Okay, so this shower curtain I hauled in a video and this is from TJ Maxx. My little bath mat is TJ Maxx as well. I have my towels there. This is not permanent. This will all change once I figure out what I'm going to do over here. So this is where the toilet is, and there's a lot of space. You guys can see I have really tall ceilings in this apartment. This is a little cart with a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be organized, so we're going to ignore that for now. So I would love a suggestion from you guys. Should I do an over-the-toilet type of organizer, or since I have this entire space in this corner here, should I do a really pretty organizer here for all of my towels and toiletries and stuff? Let me know your thoughts down below. So I'm going to close the door slightly so you can see. Behind my door, I just have my paracone towel and two robes, and then you can see how big this mirror is. Hello! So just kind of zooming in, I do have my makeup station right here, brushes, all of my skincare is right here, tissues, and then an extra mirror. So that's kind of how it's set up. Also, I have my little Echo Dot right here. And, oops, sorry, cancel. <laughs> and I got that for my birthday. And then I have a little medicine cabinet right here as well. So again, very spacious, big mirror, as you can see. And at the top, there are vanity lights. Okay, now we're going to leave the bathroom. And you guys can see on the floor over there, I have three pairs of shoes. 
These are the shoes I wear the most often as of now, so I keep them over there. Now to the right of the bathroom, there are three steps, and this goes all the way up to my room. Now, like I said, this is a one bedroom loft, and this is what it looks like. So again, nothing is completely, you know, set in stone. As you can see, I have a big mirror over here, bed, bench, some organizers, and then if you turn over here, this is my desk. So let's start at my desk. So my desk right here, this is from Wayfair.com, I believe. I have my Apple iMac computer there, and this little pair is a hand cream. So cute, I keep that there because my hands have been really dry. Um, my Apple Watch, which is no fun, it's kind of boring, tissues, pens and pencils. This mirror will not be staying here, hello. <laughs> this is going to be moved to my filming desk. Once I get my filming table all set, this will be where my filming table will be. So I don't, I just leave this mirror right here for now. I have a bunch of work stuff all over the place. Here I have my printer, and then I have some work, more work stuff, and then my Ikea Alex 9 drawer. And as we move over here, I have this little organizer. Now you guys have seen this in my old apartment. This is not staying here. This is just here in the meantime until I get a dresser. So if I back up a little bit, this is a perfect section for a dresser. I haven't found a dresser that I loved just yet. So for now, this is what we have. This used to be in my closet at my old apartment, but with this new apartment, the closets are too small for this actual unit organizer right here. So moving on, I have a little shoe mat, like a doormat, with some shoes right there that I wear pretty often. And then these are just some more shoes over here. And this, I believe I got at Target, this little shoe organizer. And then this white organizer over here where I have some perfumes at the top, books, some ma random makeup bags, wallets, sunglasses, all of that. This is from, I think this is from Ikea as well. So yeah, Ikea. Um, so yeah, moving over here where my bed is, my actual bed frame, this white bed frame, is from, I believe it's Raymore and Flanagan, which is a furniture store, so nothing too exciting. But yeah, Raymore and Flanagan. If you are curious about my comforter set, this I purchased at TJ Maxx. If you watched that video with Becca, um, we found this comforter at TJ Maxx. It's a baby pink. And then my little cactus pillow right here is from erincondren.com, which I ordered a while ago. This little bench right here, hmm. This is, I believe, from Bed Bath & Beyond, if I'm correct. And it has little organizers in here, which is great. There's storage underneath here as well, which, again, I'm not gonna go through today, but if you guys want me to go through every single, you know, closet and drawer, I can do that later. I have my slippers right there. I have my full body mirror right here, which this is from TJ Maxx. I have two closets in this apartment, which I need. I am grateful I have two closets. Again, I'm not gonna go through that today, but that is kind of an overview. Oh wait, I have my little laundry hamper right there. So here's the front door again. Those are my shoes, like I mentioned. And then we have this really long hallway. So I would love any suggestions down below in the comments, what you think I should put here. I really want to get a small entryway table and then maybe some pictures or, I'm really not sure just yet. If you have any suggestions, please let me know because it's pretty blank when you walk into my apartment. So we're gonna go straight. And then first thing you see here is my vacuum cleaner. This is my Hoover vacuum cleaner. Thank you to my mom who gave this to me. I still have the tags on it. <laughs> this is brand new, um, but she did gift this to me. It lives right here because my closet is filled with my work stuff, so I feel like it's pretty enough to leave there. All right, the first thing I wanna show you guys in my living room, some people are going to think it's hilarious and love it, and some people are gonna think I am crazy and hate it, so to each their own, this is my apartment, but the first thing in my living room is this basketball hoop. I have an adjustable basketball hoop in my apartment and I love it. If you guys don't know, I grew up 
shooting hoops with my brother on the basketball court, watching my brother play basketball, and I love to shoot around. So when I moved into this apartment, you guys can see the ceilings are high. And this used to be an old warehouse, if you guys are wondering. So the ceilings go really high, and I thought this would be a perfect, just kind of fun thing to have in my apartment while I'm single. This is not my forever home, but for now, while I'm having fun, I figured <laughs> this would be a fun addition to my apartment. So that's the first thing I have there. Moving forward, um, oh, I ordered that online. I'm gonna leave the link down below to everything if I can find it for you guys. But the next thing I have over here is this little kind of ladder shelving unit and this is from Ikea So I love Ikea Really affordable simple clean lined uh, Furniture, it's just easy and it's kind of a go-to so this entire unit is Ikea And then if we look closely, I have just a few little decor pieces some books I know there's no picture in this picture frame because I have yet to print one, so <laughs> please ignore that. It's a blank frame, but that's okay. More books, um, my little pair, which I love, my little white marble pair. This was from TJ Maxx. I have a little mirrored um, tray there, and then a vase, and then a little basket where I keep the basketballs. I have three different basketballs for the hoop, and yeah, so that's... My ladder. Now you guys can see how blank this wall is. Just so you know, this kind of image or map is what I'm putting on the wall. I have yet to put it up because I need help hanging it, but you guys can see how cool this is. It's a metal map of the world and there's little pinpoints and you can kind of post where you've traveled or pictures or postcards or letters. So this will be on the wall. Um, right next to my basketball hoop, but I've yet to put it up. This is from Amazon again I will link everything down below All right, so moving forward. I then have my entertainment unit again Ikea. I love Ikea. I think it's great um, Right here. I do have my Alexa Cancel Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then I have some tea lights here. You'll see a few of these tea lights around you guys because I have one here as well. These are from the Dollar Tree. I think these are so cute. They're little mason jar tea lights and I found them at the Dollar Tree. I've been obsessed with the Dollar Tree lately, so. Um, I have my Samsung TV. This is a 55 inch if you are curious and again this unit is from Ikea. All the baskets are from Ikea as well and then more, just like a fake flower arrangement right there. Another tea light and then going in here I have this one opened. This little welcome sign. It's uh, from Target actually. The Target dollar spot and then the lantern in there as well is from Target and I have little twinkling lights. So at nighttime, I'll turn those on for a little ambiance or if I have people over or friends over or a guy over. Oopsies. Ugh. There we go. I'll turn them on and off. So, all right. Stepping back, I do have a large floor lamp. This, again, is from Ikea. It comes in black and this really pretty just beige color. So I figured, why not? It was only $50. So I got that at Ikea as well. Then you guys can see my windows are huge. I have a pretty good view of the Philadelphia skyline right there. That's the Comcast building, but I have 12 foot ceilings and huge windows, which I love. If we go really close, I do have exposed brick, which I think is really beautiful. This is just, I've always wanted an exposed brick apartment and I was so excited that this apartment had that. So there's that. Now, stepping back, I have my coffee table right here, and this is my box to my, um, what's it called, my light box. So I'll just keep that right there for now. But this coffee table I ordered, I believe of Amazon, and what's really cool about it is that it's a lift top, so it turns into a desk. So I'm gonna put you guys down for a second, and I'm gonna open it and show you what I mean. All right, there it is. So as you guys can tell, I just lifted the top up and now it turns into a little table where you can kind of eat if you wanna watch TV or I work here sometimes if I'm working from home. So I love this coffee table. It's not too big and it has storage underneath as well, three different cubes. So I love this. It's probably my favorite purchase so far for the apartment because it's so versatile and 
I love how I can eat here because I technically don't have a dining room table. This sofa, uh, story about the sofa. So when I first moved in, I ordered a sofa, it didn't fit and I didn't like it. And then, so I returned it and, and then the one I wanted to order wasn't available. So it was very frustrating. So this sofa was gifted to me by my friend and it's not my favorite color cause it's brown and it's a lot brighter right now than what it is. But anyway, this is not gonna be staying here forever. It's just for the meantime. So that is my sofa. I don't know where it's from because it was gifted to me. So anyway, moving on. Now we come over here. This section is the section that's not complete. This is where my filming is done, obviously. So once it's actually complete, I'm gonna have my filming table right here and then the ring light and the camera stand pushed forward. So I will be sitting in here and then the cameras will be set up right here. So I have my backdrop stand as well, my soft, uh, my soft box over there, just a lot of random equipment. So this area though will be my filming section. So I love it, but it's not complete yet. So I will give you guys an updated tour later down the line. But now let's move on to the kitchen. Okay, so right here I have my work bag because every time I come home from work, I just throw my bag on the chair. These chairs are from Jocelyn, Maine. It came with a set of four chairs and a table and all that, but I only kept the two chairs because that's all I needed because I have an island. So you guys can tell I don't have a dining room table so I can either eat over here or eat over here with my lift top coffee table. So um, yeah, when friends come over, they'll we'll sit and chill here. On the island itself, I have just my plant and then a candle. And then this is a pretty large island, you guys. I love this. I think it's, I love an island. I think it's so functional and you can utilize this in so many different ways. All right, so moving over here. Sorry, I should have made this a little bit nicer. Um, I have my phone charging over there. I have another mason jar tea light candle, some tissues, my little teapot. This is a glass teapot. I like this because you can see through it because sometimes with normal teapots, you don't know if it's moldy in there or what's going on. So that's that. I just use this for hot water and tea and stuff. Stove, um, my utensils, this little jar is from Target, I love it. They have other organizers that say like flour and sugar, but I got this one that says utensils, and I have a bunch of different utensils in here. I use these wooden ones a lot, these bamboo ones, and then I just got a lot of these, these white marble ones from the Dollar Tree. Yes, you guys, it's crazy what they have there. Like, you'd be surprised. Like, all of these white marble ones are from the freaking Dollar Tree. Is that amazing? So anyway. Tons of different gadgets there, and then I have a lot of cabinet space, which again, I'm not going to go through, but my bedroom is right over the kitchen, if you guys are curious. Dishwasher, I have this little fake flower arrangement of sunflowers. I have this little image right here, which this is from Target as well, and there's another one that matches this that was over on my little shelf ladder. Paper towels dish stuff. This little watering can is so cute, isn't it? I got this at Ikea, you guys. It was only a couple dollars and I wanted something small for my house plants because you guys saw I have a few house plants, so I didn't want a huge one and this one is so teeny tiny. Look how cute. So go to Ikea if you want something small. Um, the sink is right here. This I just got in the mail. It's called Pure, P-U-R, and it's a water filter so I can have freshly filtered water. So it's really cool. This is the normal water, right? And then when you flip this, that's the filtered water. Isn't that cool? Moving over here, I have these little glass dispensers. How cute are these? I got both of these at Target as well. This one has little um, lemons on them, and this is my dish soap and the fresh and clean with the bubbles. This is my hand soap. So I love those, I think they're so cute. Then moving over here, I have a little tiered tray with just some fruits and onions, some bread, some garlic, and yeah, nothing too crazy there. I have a little dish towel that my mom gave me, and over here I have 
a little mini whiteboard got from the Dollar Tree as well and yeah I just write little notes on here just so I can remind myself to do certain things I have a picture of my niece's foot how cute is that she did that at daycare and I was like oh my gosh my brother gave this to me he has a foot and her hand prints as well so I love this um, down here I have a step stool I have a step stool in my kitchen and in my bedroom because I cannot reach the top of my cabinets. So that is why I have a step stool. Refrigerator is right here and then if you look along the side here, I have my reusable bags when I go grocery shopping and then I have these magnetic little pouches where the green one keeps all of my receipts just in case I need to exchange or return something or anything like that. And then in this pink one, I have a pen and a permanent marker and um, I love these. They stick right to the side of the refrigerator, really convenient, organized, and guess where I got those? The Dollar Tree. I've been obsessed with the Dollar Tree lately, but come on, how organized is that? So cute. All right, moving over here, I have a wine rack. And I typically don't drink wine like that for me to fill up a wine rack, but my birthday was not too long ago and I have a lot of alcohol left over for my birthday. So I know liquor is not supposed to go in this wine rack, but it is what it is for now, you guys. So I have a bunch of different types of liqueur here and yeah, it's just all of this is left over from my birthday and I didn't know where to put it. And I had this rack from my old apartment. So I was like, you know what? It's going to go there. I know it looks a little silly, but please bear with me. It's just, I don't drink alcohol like that. This will probably last me a couple years. Like, unless my friends come over and drink it, I, this will not be consumed. But yeah, that is pretty much my entire apartment tour i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want any more detailed videos or maybe going through my cabinets let me know please leave suggestions for what i should do down this hallway i would greatly appreciate it and i hope you guys enjoyed the tour